Hello there. With the launch of BlizzCon 2018, I thought I would do a quick summary video of the classic WoW news that's come to light since then. So this is stuff from what's been said at the event, really key information, as well as some stuff that people have found out from being able to actually get to grips with a demo, as well as give my thoughts on the WoW Classic community's reaction and kind of what my take on all of this is. The video in the background here is Razorfen Crawl. I just thought I would go in there and prove that even though I am a level 60 mage, I definitely don't know how to play my class. Okay, so first and most important thing on the list is the Classic WoW release date. We have now confirmed, or rather it was confirmed at BlizzCon, that the release for Classic WoW would be Summer 2019. So not really anything unusual there, we kind of all expect it to be at least into 2019. I think anyone thinking it was going to be early was very optimistic and has never worked in software development. <laughs> Nevertheless, yeah, so this is, this is pretty good news and at least now we have some sort of concrete time frame for when to expect it. Up next, which is also equally as important, is the Classic WoW subscription model. So Blizzard have confirmed at BlizzCon that there is going to be no individual separate subscription for Classic WoW. It's all going to be bundled into the regular subscription for retail. What this means is, and probably to a lot of people's dismay, is that it's going to be the same price because it is just the, the you know the standard subscription. However. What you will do is you will have access to both of the clients. So if you're a retail player, you get access to the classic. And if you're a classic player, you will also be able to play retail if you so wish. They changed the subscription model a few months ago to basically mean that you don't have to buy all the expansions now. You get everything up to the latest expansion. So if you are a classic player and you do want to just check out and see what retail's like, you'll be able to play up to and including Legion, but you won't be able to play Battle for Azeroth. So overall, I kind of expected this to happen. I mean, you still had to have a sub back in the day that was full price. So, you know, overall, this is not rocking the boat too much. If you do want to watch the opening WoW ceremony in full, I have included a link in the description to Blizzard's Twitch channel and they've uploaded the whole video onto there. So definitely check that out if you're interested in hearing more. Up next, just a clarification on what I think what we already knew. Community Manager Law confirmed on the forums yesterday that any reference to the Dungeon or Raid Finder in Classic WoW is purely an artifact from the new UI and won't actually be featured in WoW Classic. This was definitely expected, but it is great that it's an official confirmation that it is going to be removed. So I just want to quickly touch on the WoW Classic community's response to the demo and day one of BlizzCon. Overall, very mixed opinions from the community. A lot of people complaining that the demo is not quite what they wanted and there's a lot of stuff in there that they don't know if it is going to be in or not in the final product. And I, I think really, you know, I hate to say this, but the, the blame really does lie with Blizzard here. Players are well within their right to complain about things, you know, or not having clarification on, on if things are going in or not. And I definitely think that is Blizzard's fault for not being able to communicate that clearly. I definitely know, it, obviously, it's a big company and there's a certain degree of, you know, passing information around and these things do take time to actually communicate. However, they should have really been on the ball with this. It was super important that they got it right, especially with all the negative press that Battle for Azeroth has been had. And I, you know, my personal opinion is the demo is very unpolished. There's lots of stuff that kind of you don't know if it's going to be in or isn't and Blizzard won't confirm or deny. So they really should have given this information up front. And I definitely think they should have spent a couple more months working on the demo. You know, at the end of the day, it's going to be releasing in summer 2019. People are clamoring to get on it, but that shouldn't affect the quality of the product you release. And historically, Blizzard has actually released really high quality products. The past couple of years, obviously, it's been degrading a little bit. I'm not really sure why that is, but you know, at the end of the day, they are known for releasing content that is polished and high quality, and you know, something that players can not really have too much trouble using. Overall, I think the demo was a huge mistake to release at BlizzCon, you know, and the community is now punishing them for it. So my final point, which is actually closely related to the demo, a Reddit user by the name of Snellhest3 has actually gone through and compiled a list of class mechanics that are not vanilla-like in the demo. It's actually really important and it just goes to show some of the engine changes and things like that which have modified class mechanics over the years. And a huge credit for him for actually taking the time to compile and categorise all this stuff for the benefit of the community. So what I will do is I will leave a link to that Reddit post in the description below. I would definitely recommend checking it out because a class that you play may be included on that list, so it is definitely important information to have.